Hi, my name's Dr Gemma Roo, Director and Clinical Psychologist at Flourish Psychology. Over the past few months, what we've faced in our community and in the wider world has been completely unprecedented and unexpected for most of us. It's challenged us in ways that we've never prepared for or expected to be challenged. And it's forced us to look at the way that we live our lives and connect to other people and think about how to do things differently. Now, while the restrictions are easing and things are returning to normal in some areas of our life, what we're finding is that this pandemic and the situation that's gone along with it has really left a mark on a lot of us psychologically. Many of us have experienced higher levels of anxiety, stress and low mood as a result of one of the key pillars in our life being threatened and that being certainty. You see, as humans, we thrive on having some sort of certainty in our life, something to look forward to, a goal that we're working towards. And so in a situation like this where it's all about uncertainty. It triggers really deep fears in us as humans. Many of us have experienced more symptoms of flight or fight, that feeling when our body is on edge and, and finding it difficult to relax. And this is hardly surprising, surprising given the way that we're wired. So while restrictions are easing and there is some more normality in our lives, I just wanted to talk to you a little bit today about how we can manage our stress more effectively day to day. So there are four key principles that I'm gonna talk about with you today to keep it simple. These are purpose, pleasure, connection, and movement. You can probably remember them by thinking about something like PPCM. So purpose, what does purpose really mean? Well, we know as humans that we thrive when we have some sense of purpose, some reason to get up in the morning and something goal directed that we're working towards. So if in our daily routine, we're lacking purpose because of the current circumstances, creating some sort of chart or list of tasks that we can work towards each week can be really helpful, whether it be just organizing something in our home or planning something for the future. The second point, um, pleasure, is actually something that for a lot of us seems like maybe it's not the most important thing at the moment. But as humans, we really need an opportunity to experience joy. Joy and hope are very closely connected. You know, when we have those moments in our life of kind of unbridled joy, we feel that sense of hope building in us that everything's gonna be okay. Now, pleasure is different for everyone. You know, for some people, you know, taking a walk on the beach and being really mindful of, you know, the smell of the ocean and the feeling of the sand in their feet can bring pleasure. For other people, it might be, you know, doing something with their hands in the garden. Um, but looking for some way each day that you can experience pleasure is really important. The third point is connection. And this is something that's been talked about a lot uh, since this pandemic began. We've been finding new ways to connect with each other through um, video conferencing, through Zoom, uh, through social media, um, but it's not quite the same as that face-to-face -face connection. So now that we can meet with other people face-to-face, -face, albeit a small number of people and at a distance, you know, scheduling one or two catch-ups each week can be really helpful and give us something to look forward to. And the fourth point is movement. I mean, this is something that's true regardless of the circumstances. When we move our body, we actually set off a cascade of chemical reactions in our body that nourish us and give us a sense of joy and also um, help our body to fight anxiety and stress. So when we actually move our body, we produce serotonin and we produce dopamine, which are some of these key chemicals that protect us against stress and anxiety and low mood. They're also a great way of actually kind of dumping stress. You know, when we get out and move our body, we get rid of cortisol, the stress hormone that builds up in our body when we're finding that we're on edge and, and finding it difficult to relax. So today I just want to encourage you to take up those four principles of purpose, pleasure, connection and movement and find some way each day um, or even a couple of times a week to implement that into your routine. Thinking of all of you, hoping everyone's hanging tight and going well um, and I'll be back to talk to you again soon.